So, Greville, this is a stabilising unit. That's the stabiliser. What does it do? That prevents the caravan from swaying. So, as you're on the road and the caravan is moving around, that will restrict it. Many of the caravans on the road today have a stabiliser, but not ATC, traction control. So we turn the traction control off so that that doesn't give the car any assistance. We've got a stabiliser, which is the condition that most caravanners will use their outfits in. So that should now be uh, an absolutely ideal situation for the car to be tested towing this caravan. So you put the car through a series of tests? A whole series of tests on, on a circuit, on straight roads, on hills, around curves, all the conditions that our, our members will find on the road. So which bit of the course are we going on and why are we doing this? We're going to go into the hill route now. It just magnifies everything. There's, there's lumps and bumps and the, and the turns are tight. Um, and once we drove back to, to Millbrook, we, we covered five countries. And there's nothing on this hill route that we discovered that isn't elsewhere. You need to concentrate at all times on this course. It's, uh, it's got everything. It's got off cambers, it's got tight turns, uh, sweeping bends, stuff just to unsettle the car and the caravan. It is designed to, to, to catch us out as well as the car. It's got everything here you could possibly want. I mean, as tests go, this has to be the most thorough test of a tow car. Wow. Here I am, A, I've never driven such a big car anyway, yeah. but to drive such a big car with a caravan is quite something, it's quite a feat for someone like me, and I, it's absolutely easy. It's all about building confidence, yeah. um, which if you choose the right tow car, which is what we're here for, it makes building confidence an easy thing to do. Yeah. The point of this test is to do an acceleration and braking test for the vehicle. Well, it can give us a, a, a access in motorways and that, and then braking rapidly with an outfit on the back, and also it should make the stability of the car in the outfit. Sixty. And the distance is twenty-three. Point six. Hi Debbie, welcome to Ballast Control. Wow, how exciting. Yeah. Uh, first of all, what is ballast? Ballast, ballast is, is the weight that we put in both the car and the caravan. That's represented one of the people who are going on holiday. So we put ballast in the car to represent your average touring group. Yeah. And ballast we put in the caravan and that's to represent people's possessions when they go away. So what we're trying to do is, is signify as much as possible a real life situation. Obviously we haven't got a family with us today, so uh, we have ballast to um, simulate family and their possessions. The other key part is obviously hitching it up and making sure that um, the, the union between the coupling between the car and the caravan is, is correct and ready for testing. So the brake lights are working. Yes. Indicator, please. So the right hand indicator. I feel like a magician's assistant. And left hand <laughs> indicator. So everything's in full working order, so we're ready to go. We're actually testing caravan ability. Ah, oh, what does that mean? Well, basically, it's all, all the kit we've got around here, right, we're trying to fit in all these cars. So just to see if all this would go in the boot or whether we've got to use a back seat. Uh -huh. So it's, a, it's the same test for every car along the, along the road. To see whether the whole lot will go in the boot. So we park the scrutineering, we check to see that the car has a tow bar fitted, we check to see the electrics, uh, we also check the curb weights, the towing limit, the nose weight, gross vehicle weight, gross train weight to make sure that the car is correctly ballasted to put the caravan on the back. We're going to plug in the trailer board to the uh, socket and then we'll start the car up and make sure that we get the right warning lights on the, uh, on the dashboard. There's already a faulty lamp deliberately on the trailer board so we should get a warning on the dashboard to tell us that we have a faulty right rear trailer light. At the bottom of the boot, we lift up and make sure that uh, there is a tire in there. Sometimes it can be a full size spare, sometimes it could be a space saver spare, which, or it could be just a, a tin of jollop that you spray into the wheel. So we fitted the extension mirrors, which are uh, law for towing a caravan. Uh, and when we fitted them, we make sure they go on nice and easy. And when they're on, we then start the car up and make sure that we can adjust the, the door mirrors 
uh, as well as the extension mirror we've put on. So in the handbook we've found that the capacities and specifications are 283 and they're then asking us to check it on the plate which we've previously found on the car itself so it couldn't be simpler than that. Tell me what are we doing? Well this test just shows what the visibility is like for reversing and the reason I'm doing this passenger side on which makes it a bit harder for me is just that it shows up more flaws in the visibility of the caravan. Um, passenger pitch side is always a bit more tricky but it's always worth doing.